I am a Rudy Poo candy ass. If it sounds like a mild breath, it's because I just got out of the gym before I recorded this, so bear with me on that. But today's candy ass is Dan Crenshaw, congressman for Texas. Now, I don't need to go through the BS of what this guy has done. I mean, he's broke the law for Donald Trump and he'll break the law for Donald Trump and he'll continue to break the law for Donald Trump. And that shows what kind of a candy ass he is and not to mention what kind of a scumbag he is. Anyway, this time he's finally crossed a, a delicate line. By now, everyone has heard about the submarine, the mini sub that imploded, claiming all five lives, and unfortunately, they were all trying to explore the Titanic. Worthy goal, I I would do the same if I had the money or the chance, not to mention the guts to do it. But Crenshaw, instead of blaming the sub's mechanics and and anything else, and before the investigation even has begun... Before we even got the chance to examine the wreckage, Crenshaw wants to blame the, the deaths of these five men on President Joe Biden. Yeah, you heard me right. He's actually blaming Joe Biden for something that he had no personal stake in. This is basically what he said, is that Crenshaw declared what happened as a, quoting him, epic failure of leadership from the Biden Coast Guard, even though he only heard about Biden's failures and doesn't know what's truly responsible for the lives lost. Seriously? Seriously, Crenshaw? One thing I forgot to mention is that Crenshaw is a former Navy SEAL. I know I'm going to piss off some veterans out there for saying this. And trust me when I say this is no this is no insult against you who served our country with honor and distinction. Who fought for our freedoms. But as of right now, I do not re- recognize Dan Crenshaw as a Navy SEAL or a former Navy SEAL. I looked at this guy's service record. He... He received the Purple Heart and Navy Marine Corps Medal of Heroism, but he destroyed all that with this with this crap. Trump actually he actually um, Crenshaw actually says that he falsely he, that Biden didn't deploy assets that could have saved their lives. Here's the thing: officials already declared that the victims had died way before they can be saved. And millions of dollars from the United States government deployed through the Coast Guard were spent on the a desperate mission to save them, if they could. But look at the factors. These guys were on their way to the North Atlantic to explore the Titanic. The Titanic is thousands of feet underwater. In a situation like that, an implosion like that, oxygen running out, out, and two days ago we were told that they had barely had 24 hours of oxygen left before carbon dioxide poisoning would take them. All bets are off, unfortunately, that they died. And adding insult to injury, he said, Crenshaw says that Biden should have, quote, acted sooner. Even though he acted immediately, even though the experts out there agreed that he acted immediately, and especially experts argue that it was impossible to get to them after their vessel, after the sub imploded. As I mentioned earlier, this guy is a damn Navy SEAL trained in stuff like this. You should know better than the placing the blame on someone who had nothing to do with it. If the blame lays with anyone, it, it should be with the sub. If they find, depending on what the investigation shows, the blame should go with the manufacturers of the mini sub. 
but this is what this is where we are in this country. Anything goes wrong, the Republican Party blames President Biden on. And I know some smart ass Trumper out there is going to say you blame Biden, you blame Trump for everything. No, I blame things on Trump that were his fault. I blamed him for COVID because he was the president in charge of the response. He didn't respond. And as a result, thousands of Americans under his watch died. He didn't get us ready for COVID at all. Period. This has nothing to do with Biden. This was a technical malfunction that cost the lives of five people. And I'm saying that allegedly because we still don't know what happened. Just yesterday, by the time I, when I made this video, just yesterday we had a word that they found debris from the sub all over the ocean floor. Common sense says something terribly wrong and the worst happens. And then they clear, and then the Coast Guard and the owner of the mini sub declared these men dead. There was no way of getting to them. And if they get to them, they would have been long gone, beyond saving. And that is tragic, yes. That is incredibly tragic. But for someone like you, Dan Crenshaw, to, 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 to try to find a way to put this on, Don, on, on Joe Biden, when he had absolutely nothing to do with it, especially contradicting what you said, he acted immediately. The Coast Guard acted immediately. That's why they're the best. They're the toughest trained and they're the best. But there was no way that could save them from those depths. The entire, if you have any brighter ideas, Crenshaw, being a former, you know what, I'm not even going to call you a former Navy SEAL because of this crap. You forfeited that title the second you decided to be a Republican MAGA Trump whore. Crenshaw, you're no longer a Navy SEAL in my eyes. You're nothing more than a Trump thug. My advice to you, if you have the balls to do it, like you claim that you have the balls to be a Navy SEAL, which I highly doubt, you would get on your hands and knees and beg the forgiveness of the families that were lost in that sub and the forgiveness of President Joe Biden. See, I'm not Biden. I'm going to take, I take your, you want to blame me for something that I had nothing to do? You know, that's called libel. And I will see your ass in court, Crenshaw. I'm not Biden. I'm not the Boy Scout. I'm not a good guy. Your ass is grass as far as I'm concerned. If you ever try to libel something like that on me. Crenshaw, you're a MAGA whore. You're a clown. You're a fake Navy SEAL. You're a fake patriot. But more importantly... You are nothing more than a Rudy Poo candy ass. CTP, know the truth. God bless. Peace to the left, justice to the right.